Hey guys, how's it going? This is so trippy how it's like in the background like this. But anyways, uh, today's video we're going to be talking about AMD and maybe Intel. And you know how I believe AMD stock could go to $50 next year. This is a bold prediction, but I do believe that AMD stock will go to $50 next year. Uh, this year, no, not really, but next year... Sounds like they will. We'll see what happens though. Uh, so, this is a shout out to Adore TV. He seems to be like a super expert when it comes to like Intel and AMD, NVIDIA, technology in general. I watched not all his videos, but most of his videos, and it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, I, as you guys are aware, I am a big AMD shareholder. I well, sorry, I was a big AMD shareholder. It was my stock that helped me get to the path of riches. Uh, I still wish I had some shares. Uh, too bad I sold off, and uh, yeah, things are uh, looking bad. Uh, you know, I'm, but now I have an uh, option to get back in, maybe with option trading, right? Because I do believe in AMD in the long term, and I could do a long term option trade on AMD. Big gamble, I could lose a lot of money, or I can make a lot of money, but I do believe that AMD, I do believe that AMD will become a $50 billion market cap. Uh, there's, they are threatening Intel big time with their new CPU architecture Zen 2. There's some interesting rumors that came out for it. AMD right now is a $20 billion company. They were over $30 billion. I think this stock will head back there. I don't think this stock will end. Uh, right now, big money will is hesitant to push money back into AMD due the due to the fact that uh, that uh, we're in kind of a market correction right now, and it's hard to back a, a horse. That uh, I mean, it's hard to back companies in a big way when the market could crash. So people are you know. Uh, most pe rich people or people with big money are worried that you know we have a market crash and they could lose a lot of money so they are staying away from the markets at least this is what I think I'm not I'm not 100% on sure on this stuff I'm not really an expert at the end of the day I just that's what I think so um, I mean I, I, I'm good at the stock market I'm, I'm not an expert though I, I don't I can't put no, nobody can really predict where a stock price will go if they can they would be billionaires right so uh, Intel a market cap of 211 billion dollars and AMD is going to be attacking Intel big time in 2019 with the new Zen Ar Zen 2 architecture on the 7 nanometer process as you but I'm gonna be talking about Navi Navi 10 Navi 10 well, like right now, NVIDIA has uh, basically a monopoly on the high end of GPUs. And I do believe that, uh, I do believe that, uh, you know, AMD is going to compete very competitive with NVIDIA's high end. So basically this RX 3080 that's coming out for AMD will be able to power a 4K screen at almost 60 frames per second for $249 uh, US. That is very, very cheap. Uh, you know, the, the t GTX 1080 right now costs about 500 US right now to buy and they are, they're offering half the price and they compete with the G uh, GX GTX 1080 and the R RTX 2070. Which is very very impressive, but they they are not including ray tracing. But you know, there's not very many games that support ray ray tracing right now, so it's kind of a, a complete waste of time. Nobody here, I mean, you guys are probably not computer experts, so you, you guys probably don't even care. But you know, they they'll compete with Nvidia, and they're gonna co compete with them on an affordable price range, which will will give you know AMD at least some. GPU market service share back 
But no, the the big winner, the big takeaway is Ryzen three thousand series. Uh, the Ryzen three thousand. This is only rumored. This is not hundred percent. But I've been talking about this rumor for a while. I do believe that this rumor could be true. So the Ryzen three hundred series is the the very high end is sixteen cores, thirty two threads, and then the lower end is twelve cores. And then uh, the mid-range one is about 8 cores. Right now, an 8 core is about 300, 300-ish dollars. But they're, they're, they're announcing uh, Ryzen Zen 2 to be $200. It's very, very competitive. Uh, and then the Ryzen 3 is going to be a 6 core, 12 thread. This, and the fact that it's like could be 5.1 gigahertz boost. Intel has nothing to compete with AMD on this front. AMD is going to be taking the performance crown away from Intel and the Ford and the price crown too. They're going to be priced below Intel. On top of that, much better performance than Intel. Intel is going to have a very tough year next year to compete with AMD. Intel only the only thing Intel really has is uh, the fact that they are uh, they have the better brand. They have the na better name, you know, they have more money for marketing, and, you know, but AMD, ba Intel was sleeping, and AMD, you know, launched a surprise attack on Intel, and now AMD could be worth a lot more. If, if AMD really takes a lot of market services from Intel, uh, I think the market cap from Intel will be transferring to AMD, which will get possibly give AMD you no know, double the market cap. So even at this price tag, you could double your money. Uh, you know, I, that's what I believe that AMD stock is heading back to fifty dollars. I believe that they can have a fifty dollar market cap, but uh, right now, big money is scared because. Uh, you know, possible stock market crash. I, I don't think AMD will go back to $10, but if it does, if it goes even close to 12 to $15, that would be an incredible, incredible deal to pick up AMD at. But um, like right now, I think it's a decent price, but it could drop lower. So because we are in uncertain times and People are saying the market will crash in the in December time frame. We'll see. I just want this. If the market was to crash, I just kind of want it to happen and get it over with, and then we can start anew and just do whatever. But like right now, you know, it's there's uncertainty in the market, so people are scared. Uh, you know, like. I know, I know that AMD right now is taking market share from Intel, but this is Amazon uh, website and doesn't really. I guess it changes every hour because it updates every hour, but it looks kind of fair game. I mean, I don't think maybe on Amazon's different because I I've noticed that uh, like these articles that came out on December fifth. Which was about three days ago, saying that uh, AMD CPU outselling Intel two to one. Uh, these are in European retail ma manufacturers has released report on AMD and Intel CPU month by month. And if you look right here, it shows that you know Intel was beating AMD, and now AMD is just killing Intel when it comes to selling CPUs because AMD has a better compelling product. And you know, it, it is what it is. A AMD is destroying Intel in the CPU market right now. Uh, when that was when those numbers get reported, because these three months September, October, oh, sorry, would October, November, December those are those are three months that are that are getting reported on January. And if they can deliver some really stellar numbers from selling so many CPUs. Uh, you will see AMD stock skyrocket in my opinion. Uh, you know, this is another article uh, that was released on December 1st. German largest e-retailer sell 2 to 1. So AMD right now is doing very, very good compared to Intel in Europe. So that's, uh, that's very shocking, surprising to me. 
and then you know the AMD Epic re, uh, server market uh, server market share. As you can tell, AMD has gone has signed up with Amazon. They have signed up with um, with Microsoft and a bunch of Alibaba, and they they have like a bunch of big companies that are backing them with their new Epic CPU, and they. You know, people do believe that AMD will be taking 5% server market share uh, from Intel minimum. Uh, but I believe that it could be a lot worse than this. It could be 10, 15, 20%. So if, if that happens, definitely AMD stock will reflect a $50 price tag, I do believe. Uh, right now, it's uh, uncertainty in the market, so there's not very much pumping. But... I do believe in AMD in the long term, and I may put an uh I may put an option trade on AMD for next year because I do believe that the stock price is heading back to fifty dollars within the time frame of twelve months from from today. So by the next December to December two thousand nineteen, I do believe AMD stock will be way above what it is right now. I think twenty dollars. Is a bargain in my opinion maybe not but I do but I do think so I do think that a that $20 at 20 million dollar market cap is a bargain I am going to I might do an option trade on it so you know but uh, we'll see we'll see anyways uh, this is my uh, video for AMD uh, that I believe AMD will move to 20 uh, sorry $50 in the long term like the next 12 months that's my belief anyways so anyways thanks for watching guys i hope you found this entertaining and a little bit enjoyable uh give me a thumbs up it helps my channel grow subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye